Okay, we're at Kellogg Community College, and we're going to be showing how to use a solid sling for the Hoyer lift. We have an electronic Hoyer lift that we're going to be using. Um, so this would be, if we're using the solid sling, this would be for a patient who is fairly weak, maybe doesn't have good head control, needs a lot of support. So, hi patient, how are you? Okay. My name is BJ, I'm from Physical Therapy, and we need to take you down to the pool to do your therapy today. And I don't have anyone to help me, so I'm going to use this machine to help get you into the chair so we can take you down to do that. Okay, um, as we're going through, if there's things I need you to do, I'll let you know. Um, but basically, I'm going to be putting a sling underneath you, and then we're going to lift you up, take you over to the wheelchair, and lower you into the wheelchair. Um, it should be very comfortable. If anything's uncomfortable, be sure to tell me. Okay? First part of this, I'm going to make sure my wheelchair is ready. So I'm first of all I'm going to make sure that it's locked. I'm going to get the foot rest right off from it, not just swung out to the side, but I'm going to put them right underneath it, take them right off. That way there's going to be room for the legs of the Hoyer to go um, past that section of the wheelchair. Okay, so it's all locked, double checked it. It's in a good position, it's nearby but not in my way. Um, okay, we're going to be using the solid sling. You can see there's one side that has the tags and it has some little handles that's going to be away from the patient. So the side toward the patient shouldn't have any of that stuff on it. You can see the top part of it is rounded and the bottom part is very straight across. Okay, so the straight part goes down by the knees. The top part, that's the rounded part, should be up past the occiput, the occipital protuberance of the patient. It needs to be up above that in order to help support the head once the patient is upright into the sling. Okay, so I know I have the correct sling here. Um, so, patient, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna roll you up onto your side and then place this underneath you and then I'll lay you back down. Then I'll walk around and kind of pull it up from the other side to even it up. Um, it's easiest if you put a chair next to you to hold that. You don't wanna put it on the floor. If you put it up here on the table, it's real easy for it to fall off in the middle of your maneuver. So, we'll just have a chair nearby to hold this one. Okay, um, to roll her onto her side, I made sure she's over to the side uh, a little bit so that she has a safe distance that she can roll up onto her, um, her left side here. I'm going to take her foot and cross it over, supporting under the knee, and the upper leg goes on the top because that's the one that she's going to be rolling in this direction. And her hand that's closest to me, I'm going to put down, almost tuck it under her a little bit with the thumb upright, and it's going to be more comfortable for the chromium process. The other hand, I'm just going to support on her uh, chest area here or the abdomen area. My hands are going to be on the hip and on the shoulder, not on the arm and the leg. Okay? Um, patient, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say one, two, three, and on three, I'm going to roll you up onto your side. I'll be right here in front of you so you don't have to worry about getting too far. Okay? Any questions? No. Okay. My leg, I need to have one leg far back, so I'm going to let you down. One leg far back so that I can shift onto that leg. I shouldn't see back moving, I shouldn't see the arms moving. Back and arms are set, I should be shifting this way. Then once she's on her side, I can pull up and bend my arms. Okay, um, and we're gonna go on three. One, two, here we go, three. And then once she's there, I can put my body right in front of her, which frees up my arms a little bit. And fix your pillow so you're not uncomfortable. Okay. So, I want to again make sure that I have the rounded end of it up toward her head, and it needs to be high enough to support her occiput. And then I'm just going to tuck it right up as close underneath her as I can, and I'm going to have to juggle you a little bit here, jiggle you a little bit, because I want to get that really far underneath her. When I lay you back on your back, you're going to feel kind of a knot under you for just a second. Right away, though, I'm going to pull it out from this side so that it won't stay long. To lower her back down, I'm not rolling her in that direction. I'm just lowering her back down. Again, the hand on the hip and the shoulder. And I'm going to go back down to your back. Okay, relax right there. Get you comfortable. Okay, then I'm just going to come on this side and just pull that right through. I'm going 
go around to the other side just to see how even we are here. If you need to do any pulling, make sure you're pulling and not trying to push or anything like that. That looks pretty good there. Okay, is everything comfortable so far? All righty. Um, I'm going to bring the machine over. When I do this, I'm going to put part of it right across your belly here. Um, everything's stable, so you don't have to worry about falling or anything like that. It's a nice solid piece of machinery here. You do have to do this with a table that does not have the metal or any kind of leg down the middle because um, it won't fit. It won't work well on that. Okay, so let me raise this up. I have an up and down lever here, so I'm just going to push it up. patient up, I'm going to have this start right around her pelvis, but you may need to adjust it up or down as you go. Um, again, this one's going to be at the head. If you want your patient to go from this type of a table to a gurney where she's lying down, then you're just going to use whichever size you want. If you want to use the black ones, which are very long, then there's purple, green, and blue. The blue ones are very short. It doesn't matter, but you have to use the same size all the way around with the same color in this case. So I could use green, 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 green if I wanted her to stay in kind of a lying down position. Since I'm putting her into the chair, I want her to end up in more of an upright position. So in order to do that, I'm going to make it shorter at the top and longer at the bottom in order to bring her body up into that position. Right. So let's start with the longer ones here. Um, patient, I'm going to bend your knees up because I need to get this attached. So to do that, I'm going to bring one foot kind of out to the side here. I can support under while I get the other foot. And what I'm going to do, we call it pyramiding. I'm going to put her feet way out to the side so that her knees kind of fall together. That frees up my hands a little bit again to uh, be able to do what I need to do here. All right, so this one I want long, so I'm going to put it in the longest one there. Pretty good there. Now I can pull this up this way a little more if I need to. And I'm going to put it on a short one here, either the blue or green, depending on how tall your patient is. I'll go with the green for her. Comfortable there? Okay. Um, always make sure that the little safety latches are attached. I usually just take this extra little loop and put it in the middle section of the, the uh, saddle here. Um, you don't have to do that. It's just nice for the patient. You don't have to worry about hitting her in the face. I need to lower this down a little bit to hook up the other one. So it's going to come down toward you, but I'm, I'm controlling it. Okay, and I use the green one, so I'll use the green one on this side. Again, making sure that that latch is uh, safe there. Okay, how are you feeling so far, patient? Mm -hmm. Um, as this comes up and bringing her up into the seated position, I need to support underneath her head. For anybody coming up, that first little bit, those first, you know, maybe 45 degrees of coming upright are very difficult. So I'm going to support with my elbow underneath her head as I go up. So I'm going to try to get this in my hand. Um, any questions before we get started? Okay. So I'm going to go, my hand is on her far shoulder. Her head is right in the kind of the crook of my elbow there. So we're going to start coming up. Okay, now we're this far. I'm just going to adjust a little bit because it looks like it's not quite as high as I would like there. I can just adjust, make sure we don't have a lot of wrinkles. going up here. You're going to feel it sliding a little bit as you kind of like slide down into the center of it. And the bottom's coming up. You're going to just move, swing a little bit there. All right. Now, let me see how things are. This one is going to actually stay underneath the patient. So I want to make sure we don't have a lot of wrinkles underneath because it'll stay under her in the wheelchair. Is everything comfortable so far? Mm -hmm. 
I don't see a lot of wrinkles. We look pretty good. So I'm going to raise you up a little bit more. As you're going. Okay, I'm going to turn you now. And when I do that, as your feet come off the table, um, you're going to see that you'll, you'll lean forward just a little bit. And that's okay. That's all part of it. You're still well supported. Okay? So, your feet off. A little bit of a tip forward. Okay? And before I take her off from the table itself, where she's not above the table anymore, I'm just double checking all of my safety notches, and they look good. Okay, um, I'm going to bring you out this way, and then we'll put you right into the wheelchair there. Okay? Mm -hmm. Here we go. And with this, you may have to use your hip, your knee, your nose, whatever you want to use to get this thing to move, because they're not always easy to move, especially on carpeting. <laughs> wheelchair here. Okay, go ahead and uncross your legs for just a second. Okay, when I do this, I want to back her up um, so that her bottom is actually right above the back part of the wheelchair here. Straighten up. Okay. And when I lower her down, I need to warn her about this, but I want the chair to tip back a little bit because I want her seated as far back into that wheelchair as possible. Okay, so when we go down, the wheelchair is going to tip back. As soon as your bottom hits the, the seat part of the wheelchair, it'll come back into a good position. Okay, so I know that it's tipping. That's okay. That's, that's part of where we want to be. Okay, and I'm going to move you this way just a little bit more. Okay, as she's going down, I need to check and make sure she's straight in the wheelchair. We're kind of up on one hip a little bit there, so I can adjust that as we go. Okay, we're starting to lower down some. Here we go, get started. There's the chair tipping back, so that's okay. Okay, now once she gets here, um, I want to actually push a little bit to get her, you know, as far back into that seat as possible. Here we go. Once we get to this point, I need to watch and make sure that this doesn't get too close to her face as that chair tips forward, for instance. So I need to kind of watch her back here. The chair's going to tip forward now. Okay, and let that roll right with her so that it's out of her way. Um, she's a little crooked in the chair, so I can take it up just a little bit just so it's kind of taut underneath her. And then I can just real easily kind of move her to whatever position I need her to switch to. So she was kind of up on one hip a little bit, fix the bat um, Once I have her the way I want her, and I'll put it down a little more. And again, as it's coming down, I can just kind of move it back out of her face so it's not right in front of her face. Okay. And then I would unhook, as I fall, <laughs> I would unhook everything. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Now, since the patient's going to stay in this chair and this is going to stay underneath her, um, there's a lot of things you can do with this. What I usually do is um, put it underneath and then hook it on the far push handle. And that kind of keeps it out of the patient's way a little bit. Okay. These on the side. What I'm going to do with those is I'm going to kind of tuck it up inside and then roll it so you don't have a lot of um, canvas strap right up against the patient. So just kind of tuck it in there and then roll it on down. There. And then I would put the foot rest back on and off she would go to wherever the pool. Okay, to get her back up from the wheelchair, I would just do everything in reverse. You know, starting with um, getting those out. Yeah, I would get her hooked back up to this. As she comes up, I just need to make sure that you know, she doesn't hit her head on this. And then it's just a matter of bringing her back over and lowering her back down. So it's really just the same thing in reverse. So any questions? Anything I missed? I don't think so. Okay. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm.